Now, let's see. A hacking device that's tiny. A hacking device that's crazy powerful. And a hacking device that isn't a few hundred bucks. Well, we're taking a look at that today. And this thing may be one of the craziest things I have here. And definitely the top thing I have for pack injection and key logging. Now meet the diabolical parasite. These things go absolutely crazy. So, not only because of the tiny size factor, this thing's smaller than my tiny pinky, but this thing has a bunch of tech packed into it. Let me get it to focus for once. And it's not only a bad USB, it's also a key logger. Now we took a look at a different key logger a minute back, and that thing was huge like that. This one is so tiny, with the USB right in the back and this one, let me show you how this works and what it could do. Now real quick, you this is not sponsored, but I do I do endorse this guys. This thing is amazing. Now, you could get this for 115 bucks on crowd supply. Everybody's like, Ooh, 115 bucks, my Lily Go T dongle can do that. Your Lily T dongle can't do this. Let me show you how to use it. So for example here, we have this keyboard and this is gonna be the victim. So all we have to do is get the keyboard because a lot of people nowadays are switching back to wired because of how insecure wireless is with mouse jacking and that type of stuff. So all you have to do is plug this into the back like so and then just plug it right back into the computer. And this one has the LED on so you could see that it's working but there are other ones I mean there are other settings so you could turn that stuff off. But let me so, now that we're on the Wi-Fi network, the password is diabolic underscore parasite. This is going to be, I mean, this is where all the action is, okay. So, here we have our stuff, our status, ready. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to type in IP. This is actually the captive portal, which is very interesting. It, one thing that needs to be fixed is on my phone, it keeps trying to type for me, and I can't do anything. But we do have a few options here. So, you have your ducky scripts, your, you have your payloads in here, and editor. And you could download them, you could have them so they automatically run once it's plugged in, or you could just join the Wi-Fi network. But the craziest thing on here is definitely the logger. So look at this, logger started, and this was already logging stuff before I hopped on. USB device detected, so see the PID, the VID, the device type, and the manufacturer, and the name. So if I go ahead and start typing over here, isn't that amazing? I mean, you guys were sitting on the keyboard, but let me show you again. And you are just getting this updated in real time, and you log off the network for an hour, come back. This is just so awesome. Let's see. Subscribe. So, this is already very, very interesting to me, because it actually works so well for being, obviously, so tiny. And then we have some more stuff in here. We could stop the keylogger. We could run our script. Pass through logger on scripts. We could create a script, and then we're gonna have all of our stuff in here for password, auto run scripts, LED status. So like I'm telling you, you can start it, turn it off. Fast startup if you need that. Take off the delay on your payloads. This ID, password, and that type of stuff. You can also update it with the diabolical parasite releases. Oh, I'm connected to the diabolical parasite, so no internet there. But that is, it is a very neat device. And not only can it run payloads, but if you get a payload in here, actually, let me show you real quick. So now I have my payload ready. So we could go ahead, type my payload in here. And yep, here's the payload. So then we could go ahead, we could enable auto run if we wanted to. We could delete it, download it. So you could just type your payloads in here, download it. But in this case, we could hit run. And now it's gonna run onto the notepad of this device. I think that payload was for Linux. But the craziest thing that this thing can do is it could type in human speed. So there's like detectors nowadays. It'll tell you if something's typing too fast and flag it, stop it. This guy can type at human speeds. Like somebody leaves their desk, types at human speeds, hacking the computer. Absolutely brilliant. So, thoughts? Very neat, very tiny, very powerful. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go buy one of these. Like I said, this was not sponsored, but the creator actually bought me one. So I have one extra now. Three are for me. Now, if you're like, Haley, why do you need three? I always say this. If you have one, you have none. Two, you have one. Three, you have two. So I have two, really. But 
I don't know, at DEF CON, and I broke it, I didn't even know, so I went back the next day and I got another one, and I'm like, what the heck, the first one's broken, and the second one broke too, oh my gosh, so then I had two, I had one, I had none, I had two, I still had none, but <laughs> that's it for this video, make sure to like and subscribe, if you want to get reliable tech, check out Arc Labs, they have a bunch of awesome stuff, including everything you see right here, so, very, very neat. Not the free walleye, but everything else. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I've got some good videos coming soon. So, see you next time.